Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, my name is Riley. I'm just going to give you an update on my current hair regimen for 2021. It's been a while since I posted a video and I've added um, one new technique, but pretty much I'm using all the same techniques that I've been using uh, before for hair loss and um, you know keeping the hair on my head and uh, keeping a healthy scalp environment. So um, the techniques that I still use that I think are the best, number one is the hand massage. So uh, this is incorporating some of uh, Rob English uh, perfect hair health massage, but mostly using my own techniques. And that's using uh, my finger and massaging the scalp, uh, penetrating, especially for me, the forehead area where I have the most baldness. So I'm gonna use my bamboo brush comb my hair back so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So for me, uh, it's just a receding hairline situation. Um, so I use my fingers, and I was doing this this morning already, and I just uh, kind of push, especially in the temple area, and I push down, and I do this for a few minutes, and it's gonna push through that rigid deep scalp layer, and it's really gonna make a, a dent, a hole, in uh, that thick, calcified fibrotic tissue that I want to be breaking up releasing the trap grease and the sebum uh, the de, uh, de inflammationizing that's not a real word but uh, reducing the inflammation and you know you can see now this there's like a hole there it's a bit hard to see but I can stick my finger in it and that's just from using my finger alone uh, to penetrate that scalp layer and I also use the the Thai massage stick right here and I mostly use that for the top of my head uh, because on the front it's a little bit too aggressive and sometimes it breaks the skin and I do the same thing I just kind of wiggle it back and forth and this creates dents and uh, good dents and good uh, divots in the scalp and it's breaking up that thick fibrotic tissue so the Thai massage stick uh, but mostly my fingers nowadays is, is my go-to method. That's my number one thing. And then, of course, I still use the iRestore laser helmet. Um, I've been using for about two years now, a little over two years. I use this once every two days for 25 minutes. And I do think that that does help maintain my hair. It, um, you know, it... It's a stimulative technique. It's not a restorative technique. Um, so it's using heat technology and low level laser therapy to stimulate the hair follicles. But again, it's not, it's not something that restores or um, counters the DHT, which um, I believe is the underlying cause of hair loss. So how to counter the DHT, that's, that's always like a, a thing, a, a tough question. And if you're, you know, a lot of people like Rob English believe that um, it's the, the end result, the inflammation that you need to counter, and which you can do with massage. Um, but I think lowering the uh, serum level of DHT in your scalp is also, is also an important thing to do. So I was thinking a lot about that. And um, I do currently use DS Laboratories uh, shampoo and conditioner, which is 1% ketoconazole which also has a bunch of other ingredients like caffeine and herbs and uh, it says that it's a, uh, it, it actually helps to block um, DHT as well. I have noticed this, this thick in the shaft uh, density of my hair, uh, my hair, shafts, hair follicles and, um, and I do that only once a week. I only use these two things once a week because I think too much will dry out my scalp and irritate my scalp. I, I think I have a very sensitive scalp, so I use this sparingly. And I've used, I've had this for over a year now, even though this is like a, a three month supply. And I still have about about a third left in each, in each bottle. So I probably still have about another half year to go on it. So it's a good investment, um, just a, an extra thing to kind of boost your hair a little bit. But for me, I use it very sparingly. Um, I'm not the type of person who needs a lot of shampoo. Okay, uh, what else? So, and then recently I bought another product from DS Laboratories. After doing a lot of research on topical DHT blockers, I decided to invest in this. Uh, it's a nanoxidil spray. 
it's similar to minoxidil and yet the reason I bought it was because um, the studies conducted with nanoxidil showed there was almost zero to very few side effects especially related to the heart um, ED etc dizziness irritation um, so it's a lot more uh, kind of friendly on the scalp and the hair so I bought this DHT blocker nanoxidil and um, I did a lot of research and um, I was very excited to try it and I was thinking okay there's gonna be no side effects no worries and they recommend to do six spray six sprays on your scalp twice a day so the first time I used it I think I sprayed three times and an hour later I was really dizzy I was really dizzy I was kind of feeling a little anxious a little kind of I don't know not sure where I was not myself my stomach felt a little weird um, I, I wasn't feeling good so I was like oh fuck like here we go again another another drug that's that's messing with my system systemically and I was like alright I'm not gonna be able to use this but I didn't I didn't give up and the next time I use it I just sprayed it once and I did feel a little dizzy and, and a little and a little weird um, but I didn't feel so bad so from then on I just started using one spray like every other day and then I was able to do like two or three sprays and I didn't feel dizzy anymore and my stomach felt a little weird but I didn't have any of the mental side effects so um, I was like okay you know what might as well keep using this nanoxidil spray and see where it goes um, in terms of effects I've only been using it for three weeks um, when I first started it I felt I, I noticed my hair loss was slowing down a little bit. I don't know if that's too early to set, to tell. Um, but then when I started to apply it more often, when I got used to, when the side effects kind of uh, lowered, uh, kind of uh, decreased in intensity, I started to use it more. Then I noticed almost a reverse in that it was causing uh, my scalp to be irritated and dry. And then that was leading to hair fall. So for right now, I'm gonna use this very sparingly again, maybe one spray every other day or something like that and just see how that goes. I'm just experimenting with it. Um, you know, I again, I told you I've tried Dutasteride and it was a very bad experience for me. Um, I tried Finasteride, it was a very bad experience for me. Um, I'm, I'm interested in using more DHT topicals, DHT blocking topicals. Um, so this is why I bought this because of its reviews saying there was very few side effects compared to minoxidil or topical finasteride. Although I've never used topical finasteride, uh, which I am a bit curious about. But to be honest, like I'm all about natural techniques more than anything and herbal things. Um, but it's just so damn hard to, for some people to use herb herbal topicals to uh, stop hair loss, which I think a lot of us know. And, and finasteride topically, orally, is really effective, uh, dutasteride as well, but it's just the risk you run of all the, the side effects and the shit that is going to fuck with your system. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm very cautious when it comes to chemical things. So, that was why I bought this, because of the low amount of side effects. So, again, mainly I'm still using hand massage, tie massage stick, iRestore laser helmet, uh, the DS Labs shampoo once a week and this maybe every other one spray every other day very sparingly and that's all I'm doing for now and I'm always looking for new things um, I would say I'm almost 30 and you know I still have my hair and I think all these techniques have kept it a lot but it still is it still is, I know some days it's, I can tell it's, it's losing or it's coming back, but I don't know, I'm proud of what I've done, wh wh how much I've kept, um, but again, like, I'll let you guys know, I recently quit my job, my corporate job, I mean, I didn't last very long, I, I had a good job for a journalist company and I just couldn't stand the long hours and, and the lack of freedom, so I quit pretty soon after and I decided to focus on my modeling career which um, is actually doing pretty well now and um, I'll put a link to my Instagram below you can see my model portraits and stuff and I'm starting to get more work from clients now that I'm putting more of my focus in it so that is my 
my focus for now. And um, thanks for tuning in. Please share your ideas, anything you have regarding hair loss, um, side effects with anything uh, that you take, um, you know, safe hair loss practices, um, good DHT topicals, uh, nanoxidil, tropical finasteride, whatever it is, please share your experiences below because I'm always interested to hear your ideas and to bounce off um, other techniques between the two of us. So, all right. Best of luck, everybody. Have a good day.